Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. You're welcome to Saturday, the 12th day of August, 2023. Our topic today is how deep are you in God? The Bible says, deep calleth unto deep at the noise of the water sprouts. All thy waves and thy billows are gone over me. Psalm 42 verse 7. Thought for the day. Before you can have significant height in life, you must have significant depth. The will of God is for his children to move from one depth of glory, of fire, of presence, of revelation, or light to another. This is because we serve the God of great depths and insights. God wants us to move deeper in depth because depth determines height. Depth is a major determinant of height. For instance, what went into the ground during the construction of the glory dome that nobody could see filled a depth of about 12 meters and was worth hundreds of millions of naira. They were all buried inside the earth. Concrete upon concrete, iron rod upon iron rod. Major, major construction that went in under the ground. And from the start of the construction, we realized that a section of the foundation from a particular point to another was about 274 meters. A football field is about 90 meters. So this means the span of the foundation as well as the building itself was, a, was more than three times the length of a normal football field. Amazing. We started casting the iron into the depths that could swallow an adult person. The cost of a few meters of casting of concrete would be over 30 million naira, just a few meters. And we were doing like more than 200 and something meters. It was only the casting. This was amazing. When the foundation work was completed, every foundational structure was worth hundreds of millions of naira and all these were inside the ground and therefore they were just in there and God's servant told the people to take pictures of them so we could remind ourselves what went into the ground. The height of the glory dome was determined and also supported by what was buried into the ground as foundation, unshakable. Praise the Lord. The lesson here is before you can, signific you can have significant height in life, you must have sufficient depth. Now, the question is, how, depth, how deep are you in God? What is your depth in God? That determines your height in life. Beloved, be determined to go deep in God so you can both attain and maintain significant heights in life. Remember this, that before you can have significant height in life, you must have significant depth as well. What's our assignment today? Number one, ask yourself the question, what is my depth in God? Number two, make up your mind to grow your depth in God so you can increase your height in life. Praise the Lord. Amazing. Amen. So let's go ahead and pray together. Say thank you, Lord, for showing me the necessity of growing my depth in you. I receive the grace to grow deeper in you so I can increase my height in life. In Jesus' name, praise the Lord. powerful time we've had today. I'd like to conclude by praying for two groups of people. You want to make your ways right with God. You want Jesus to be the Lord of your life. Simply pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I receive you today as my Lord and my personal Savior. Please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away all my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please the Lord in Jesus' name. 
Amen. Praise God. The Lord bless and keep you and cause his face to shine on you. In Jesus' name. Amen. And I wish you a happy birthday today. I pray for you that this birthday will mark the beginning of greater depths in God, higher heights in God, higher heights in life, more promotions, more advancements in Jesus' name. Happy birthday. Share this prayer with somebody whose birthday it is today and invite them into our community right here on this YouTube channel. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.